Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Today we are going to look at number lines. And the official term for number lines is a number with a bunch of, or a line with a bunch of numbers on it. That's <laughs> what we're going to be looking at today. All right. Let's take a look at a number line. This is an example of a number line. It's just a line with segments that are equally spaced apart. Now, this isn't exactly perfect, but it will have a line with equally spaced segments, and each segment or each point on this line is going to be labeled with a number. This is also known as a fair ruler or a geometric ruler. You maybe perhaps constructed one of these on your own using a ruler. If you drew a line with a ruler or a straight edge, and then you um, either had the measurements that were equal, or if you took a compass and you sort of marked every segment the same length, that would be a way to create um, this type of a, a number line. The most common way is just simply using a ruler, but that's not the only way. When you have a dot on a number line, it looks like this, this dot we see here. And this dot represents the number, in this case, the number that is right above. So this dot would represent the number negative 4. That's the way that we've looked at number lines in the past. In this ge geometry course, you'll be looking at it more like this. What is the coordinate of point F? So you'll have to look at it like this. Then points will be labeled with a capital letter, as we discussed before. And this point F would represent negative 4. So the coordinate of point F is negative 4. When we're looking at number lines in the past, we've said, what is the distance between these dots? And we've calculated that distance in a couple of ways. And you can either simply count. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. Or you can subtract. And take either one of the two numbers. It doesn't really matter. So I'll take negative 5, and I'm going to subtract 1. So I'm finding the difference between negative 5 and positive 1, and that gives me negative 6. And if you take the absolute value, you'll get that same distance. All right? So you find the difference first, and you can do that subtracting in either direction. And then you take the absolute value, as shown here, and that will give you a positive distance. All right, because distances are always positive. Now, here, here are the steps listed for you again. To f you find the absolute value of the difference. It doesn't matter the order that you subtract, but the absolute value will always be positive and the same result. We can show you that here real quick if you want to. Let's take a moment here. If I, instead of saying negative 5 minus 1, I had said 1 minus negative 5. 1 minus negative 5 is the same as 1 plus 5. So my result would be 6. And the absolute value of 6 is 6. So you see that point that I made earlier, that it doesn't matter which order you subtract them. But if you find the difference and then take the absolute value, you'll get the distance between these dots. All right, And that's the way we've talked about it in the past, distance between these dots. Now we'll say, what is the measure of line segment AB? Because as we talked about in the previous class, AB will be this line segment between here and here, capital letters. So we can represent that by writing AB with a line above it, or simply line segment AB, as shown there. So to find that distance or the measurement, you would subtract, in this case, 1 minus negative 4. Again, it doesn't matter which order you subtract. In other words, 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. I take the absolute value of 5 for my final result of 5. So you find the difference between these two points, and then you take the absolute value of that difference. The next type of question we may see or encounter would be this type of question. Which line segments have the same measurements as AB? I have the line segment AB here I'm going to highlight between the point A and B. And it's the point negative 7 and negative 5. So if I want to find the difference, 
I would say negative 7 minus negative 5. That will give me negative 7 plus 5. I don't know the words negative 2. I'll take the absolute value of negative 2, which gives me positive 2. So that is the distance. Remember, when you're getting a measurement, a negative measurement doesn't make sense. So your measurement's going to be positive, and the, dis the distance between A and B, or the measure of this line segment, is 2. So what I'm going to do is try and find every other line segment that is the same measurement. So BC, that's 3. That's much long larger. But CD, you can see here, is, has the same measurement. You can look at CE, which is too big. DE, which is too small. I could go E to F, which is too great. So you're just looking for line segments that have the same measurement. And in that case, FG also has the same measurement. And we can do that really quickly with a line, um, a number line, because it's visual and we can see it. Oh, that's the same distance as that, and that's the same distance as that. They look the same. That's a good way to answer this type of question. Which line segments are the same? AB, CD, and FG are all the same measurement. And that is our mini lesson for today. I hope that this has been helpful. Have an absolutely wonderful day.